Okay, here we're running our first test of Pi board SPI driven switching. So here we have the Pi board connected to the PC. This is running a bunch of switch shift registers, but only the only four are connected currently, although there are 13 in total. Those command the same uh, analog switches that were previously com controlled by manually by this switch panel. So we've replaced this switch panel by the Pi board and the SPI drivers. Okay, now we go to the computer and we're going to set on coil A. Coil A. So I'm turning on coil A. Give it a hit. You can hear now that coil A, that's the neck, father's neck. That's the father's neck. Now if we go to coil B, give it a hit, and you can see what happens. Slightly different. Go back to A. You hear a slight difference. Let's go to C now. C is the farthest nor from the neck of the bridge. You hear a difference there between A and C. You hear that difference when we change? Okay. Now we'll go to coil D, which is the most uh, bridgiest of the coils. Okay, now let's have some fun here. Let's put on the neck humbucker. You can hear how that changes. We're in the neck position here. How about if we go to the bridge humbucker now? Ready? You see how that really goes. Okay, how about we go to neck and bridge in parallel? Ready? And how about neck and bridge in series? Ready? All different kinds of configurations. You can see them all here that what we just went through. From the time to reset, we loaded A, B, C, A, C, A, C, D, then the neck, the bridge, and then all of the neck and bridge in parallel, and then all in series. That's what we can do so far with the Arduino 2 circuit. Thank you.